Hi, how's it going? Today I'm gonna play and improvise in a samba and of the composer Toquinho. Toquinho uh, was a is a very uh, interesting uh, singer and play player. He he had the influence of the great masters of the the Brazilian guitar. Uh, he has very very interesting and rich harmonies and um, very rich grooves also of samba grooves. Um, I can say he was. Um, student of uh, an important um, guitar player that called Me was called Meira and I hear a lot of the sound of budding power inside the inside the in his sound and I'm gonna play the sound song Regra 3 it's a partnership with the composer Vinicius de Moraes and Vinicius, for who, who doesn't know, he was partner of the composer Tom Jobim in the song Garota de Ipanema or The Girl from Ipanema. And um, uh, this name of this song, Regra 3, it's very interesting because Regra 3, it's a, an old term that refers to a, 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 a a husband who cheats his wife, it's it's like that, and his song uh, is very interesting because when when Vinicius did the first lyrics for the uh, for the song, Toquinho said to Vinicius that he didn't like, and uh, Vinicius were pa was partner of every great musician. And he was very respected, and it it was it sounded offensive for him, but uh, he 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 became sad, and he tried to do another lyrics. Tokinho said, I think two times he he made made a, a lyric, a lyric the lyrics for the song, and and Tokinho didn't like, and I think in the third time the third third time. He he did a very interesting lyrics, but it was a kind of uh, these lyrics has some relation with Tokinho. He he he, he tries to say that uh, the the person is gonna f find uh, end the life alone, and he he was referring himself to Toquinho to 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 make some I don't know if the correct word in English is that but provocation all right it's he, he was um, he was trying to offend, offend back the, the so uh, but this third time Toquinho uh, loved the the lyrics and this is the official lyrics here, Regra 3 from Toquinho. And I'm going to play uh, this song and it has some interesting ideas, melodic ideas, typical of the samba melodies. I'm going to put for you, I'm going to give a little read. I'm going to give a, a read for you. Mm, let me see. This is the second page. Now the first page. Um, just so you know the song. Ah, there is a different chord from this. This uh, lead sheet. Returns to the beginning.
second ending. They play a sus and a sus four and a seven after, but here in Brazilian music we prefer to use G minor six with B uh, B flat on bass and go to a seven. It's common uh, samba and choro doesn't uh, use the sus chord. They they are they have some other solutions, all right. So let's continue. It's B section. So uh, I played here more more slowly to to help you to recognize the notes on the on, on the lead sheet. Or I tried to to make the the divisions in the first time I played each part. I tried to do the the, the division. And let's see uh, before improvising. Let's see some melodical aspects. I think. Uh, are interesting to be to be used all right should be thought when you are improvising in samba i'm gonna return to the first page um and there is something that i would like to 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 show note the the pre presence of the syncopations uh that is one anticipation that I think that's very interesting. That is uh, 80 anticipation that happens on the the first the first measure. Okay, we can substitute for syncopation. And use to, 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 to do the contrast. Contrast. Syncopation. Now I, I do the I did the the division that's written. Uh, note this last note. I, it's not on the head of the measure. It's one uh, eighty note anticipated. Patience and just oh, for example, I can play the original division or I can play to create contrasts between the head notes and these anticipations with syncopations. Uh, can do your sound more, much more interesting to hear. All right. So, um, for example, I, I'm gonna read the the original for first. I'm gonna try now to to invert uh, in the first measure that doesn't have.
so we can in our improvise in our sound we can uh, take advantage of it all right um, let's sh let me show uh, a very common uh, a very common cell in samba melodic cell it's this melody is starting uh, in, in neighbor tones uh, making the, the this this uh, division and we can create some variations um, let me show you so this division we can find this kind of melody let me show you um, Look, it's similar, not equal, but similar. Oh, in the measure 16, pa, 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 very typical. Note that I'm now in measure number 23. It starts anticipated. We could play. Uh, let's go to the second ending. Ah, there is a very interesting thing that happens in terms of rhythm now. Um, um, and uh, I have the the in the measure number twenty eight. I have the first, the same uh, cell that's on the first measure of the song, uh, but it's anticipated uh, with one sixteenth notes. So I'm gonna play the first measure to you see. It starts on the hand one, two, ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba. the the importance. Uh, uh, it's not on the second tenth, but in just in the first, okay? And on the measure number 28, six, seven, eight, I can anticipate and create a slower version of this division. For uh, one, two, one, two. Different of I think it's more lyrical the, the second different of uh, note the difference So they are subtle differences, but they give the the song a lot of swing, a lot of different intentions. All right, uh, I'm gonna turn the page, and I'm have having some uh, some issues here to 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 turn the pages. That's why I I, I that's why I, I I get up to do this. Um, let me see second page. Same thing. It's it's equal uh, the introduction and on the measure and forty one two three forty three. Uh, we have an interesting division that breaks a little um, the syncopation. Commonly, this division would be played as. Uh, one, two, one, uh, one, two. And it's, uh, they had changed the, the division for 
besides four. Note that gives a, a, a little swing. It's um, and so they do again. So it's the same information, but we can create some contrast. Oh. Let me do again. Now I use syncopation, and well, now what's written. So we can uh, take advantage of it to using in our improvise. All right. So I I don't think we don't have we won't we we're gonna have more more different stuff in the um, in the slide sheet. All right. Ah, let let me see one ending. Ah. Other I would like to show is to transform uh, the syncopations in four uh, four sixteen notes with anticipation. For for example, besides playing this, uh, let me use the measure number. Ah, can be thirty six on the beginning of the. Uh, forget a little the the anticipation. Let's think it's. We can use, for example, in the second uh, in the second cell of syncopation, we can transform then all the notes in sixteen notes, anticipating the the note of the next measure. So it was gonna sound uh, besides sounding like this, sounds like. We create some some instability on the melody, and uh, I'm telling you all about this. But uh, when you hear, you can't even when you're paying attention in this. But when you hear a person varying between these sounds, you won't realize ah the anticipate no it didn't anticipate. But you're gonna realize that the melody has a lot of swing. This is the result. This is what I want you to to pay attention. All right. So um, let's improvise in it and in starting from ideas that are common in samba. I'm gonna use the A section to improvise. Um, that starts on the measure nine. Here in the measure number 10, we have a very common chord in Brazilian music that is the chord with the seventh on the bass. There is a lot of common progressions in music and in music of the world that we hear reharmonize with this seventh on bass. Uh, I, I, if you want to, to see, to hear the use, a, a very well a very interesting use of this here for the composer Dori Kaimi. Dori Kaimi has a lot of very beautiful introductions, uh, sections of songs with the seventh in bass. I, I, I've told the introduction because I remind the, the introduction uh, of the song Rio Amazonas. It's uh, uh, Amazon River. Uh, it has a lot of uh, sevenths on the bass it sounds very interesting and you can uh, realize the the Brazilian uh, the Brazilian s sound synthesis happening in that introduction all right let me continue so the harmony will be that e7 Sharp 
diminished and it, and it will happen after that a little repetition of the chord B, D minor in the measure 26 um, uh, ah no 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 I'm, I'm wrong in this mm. ah it's like the first measure Ah, so so uh, you can consider uh, to be easy for you. You can consider the whole page I'm improvising, starting from the the measure nine of a minor, and uh, it has one measure more, but returns to the, to the minor. Uh, some people can ask me, ah, why don't you make a, a more detailed edition? Uh, on the video, but I'm doing lives every day. I try, uh, I try to take some different uh, material every day. So uh, to to if you have doubts, I prefer to answer myself for you than start uh, than taking more time for the edition and has having less videos okay for me the, your presence uh, it will be will be more interesting for me all right I prefer to interact with with you uh, so let's start from the measure 9 Turn Return to the beginning. Let me show one idea I've used now. Uh, that's on the melody, it, and it's very common. This chromatism. This chromatism. So we can create some situations, similar situations. that I used that resource of transforming the syncopation in, in 
in a lot of 16th notes we besides we have the syncopation with this note longer we get uh, four notes sounding so I'm gonna use a little more to pay attention This uh, now I, I think it was very easy to recognize the the song the, the the sound of the anticipation. I did this. I always try to do some exercise to to apply that uh, cell in different situations. This is gonna improve my capability of applying. Uh, it's. Uh, it's uh, I'm giving I'm trying to give to my brain the plasticity of applying uh, my concepts in different uh, different situations. Uh, many people sometimes I have uh, my students say one interesting thing to me um, that express what a lot of people think about about the study the the music study uh they say to me that they they had uh they didn't do the my exercise for some reason but they had understood they had understood the concepts the idea they had understood so it's that is no problem and in music if you are a professional musician, uh, we always have to remind that uh, it's not enough to to understand a concept. You have to apply and apply, and even just applying, sometimes you're gonna forget this that concept. But the apply uh, applying of the, the uh, each concept you uh, learn. It's um, the most important thing you can do with the musical information. Musical information without, without uh, some application, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's the same thing as nothing. And uh, I, I am telling this because I, I've, I, I, I've had an experience in my life with some music workshops I've, I've uh, watched when I was younger. When I, I saw a lot of musicians uh, getting out of the workshop very happy with the new information, saying that uh, that information they heard about in the workshop, hey, they, it changed their lives. But I think the, the truth is that that information didn't make any um, profound changes, deep changes in that person. Because uh, when you return to, to play, your ideas are very strong. And most of the times, I'm, I'm not saying all the times, but most of the times you're going to start to lose and return for the for your point. So when you have to, to take an idea for you, try to apply in the more situations possible. You're gonna uh, have some difficulties that 
with just the, the with the concept or applying in a in a normal condition it will be easy so try to create your own challenges and they will make that idea present in your plane all right let me return to other ideas i'm gonna try to to improvise now with the creating some contrast and what i said about the uh, syncopations that start on the head or syncopations that start uh, anticipated by a 16 notes all right i've let me show the difference between their their manner of writing i'm not considering the, the notes but this is a common uh, this is a common syncopation and this is an anticipated syncopation with a 16th anticipation all right let me return to the lead sheet all right let me let me do it so Let me do from the beginning, uh, from the measure nine. to the beginning of it. now happened a thing that's very common in your study improvise that's I lose I lose my focus uh, I didn't I didn't uh, I wasn't capable of applying the idea in the scores let me try one more time it's very common this happened because sometimes you get an idea that you think it is interesting. Sometimes you think in, <laughs> uh, sometimes I think in, in something I want to talk with you. And uh, this uh, can uh, make me f uh, go out of the, of the idea. Okay, let's try to create the contrast between syncopations with syncop uh, anticipated, anticipated syncopations. There was one thing I would like to say to you that create more confusion in the same place. Uh, in Brazilian music, the, often the, the bass are improvised, the bass of the chords, because we have the seven string guitar. So for example, when I'm playing a D minor if uh, in the measure 15 with F and bass, in the bass, sometimes I'm I'm walking the bass to the D minor and often in Brazilian music we have this 
uh, freedom to take different notes of the chords to connect the bass. I have one live about this, uh, if you want to see. It happens a lot of in Shoro, but in Samba too. Okay. Now I've uh, I, I, I I've used one interesting resource that was uh, the anticipation of um, a note. Besides, for example, doing let me use the the original melody. Uh, was the original melody and I, I I'm gonna gonna use these anticipations. It's a, a, a stronger anticipation that we can contrast with the anticipation of 16, for example. Another thing, important thing, I think, you can uh, work on it to to make your improvise sound more interesting. Uh, 
Um, there was another thing I was trying to to say to you. What is that? Mm. When I don't remember my I the idea I was trying to use, I just improvised the, the ideas are going to return. Um. So this I I, I want it's, it's very typical uh, when in samba, for example, we are in a minor. We surround one note. Uh, for example, I'm in the chord of A minor. Uh, I want to surround the note uh, A. I start with B. Start. I pass from the for the note A and go to the G G sharp and resolve on A. Or for example, we can use anticipations, different divisions in this. But let me use this. Measure A very common idea in samba if you watch the live when I was memorizing the theme o que é o que é from Gonzaguinha uh, you're gonna remind some a lot of places on the melody that the do this surround idea and uh, um, other idea I thought that we can use uh, trying to make the intersection from different accents in Brazilian music, it's true, we are playing a samba that's very similar uh, with a choro, and we can use the choro phrasing with more notes, more, uh, uh, more sixteen notes, some syncopations, but don't think a lot of in a lot of anticipations like this because I think I can define samba as a, uh, as a style with uh, tied syncopations and shoro isn't uh, doesn't work that that way let's try to create an shoro environment here
So I remind one idea of Ernesto. I remind a lot of ideas, but the last one was a, a, a very common idea of the Ernesto Nazare composer uh, that I couldn't execute because of uh, I had to think that harmony on the on uh, on the on this idea. I, I had to to think the relationship between the harmony and that uh, uh, that song and the, the, the song I'm playing. For example, some tensions will not sound good. So I can work and I ending this idea. For example, when I uh, arrived in G, I tried the major 7th, but I think it's so dissonant for this context. So uh, you can you can create when you have difficulty in some ideas, stop the song and try to apply. And what else did I think to to in, in Shoro? I try to remind some melodies of Shoro and its and 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 how they work. And it was interesting that uh, I first thought in in samba Shoros. Samba Shoro it's an instrumental Shoro but with a lot of syncopated melodies it sounds very similar as Samba but in, in because of being an uh, instrumental kind of um, music it's not easy always to execute to sing them th that melodies but uh, and when I create more constant contrast, I thought in other shorts that that are uh, we call shorinho. It's a fast short. They have more notes, more sixteenth divisions, and so uh, the the sounds of shorto became more uh, hearable. All right, so. Uh, I saw. I thought, for example, in Chico Chico no Fubá, I thought uh, uh, in one uh, that it's called. Uh, they, I put more arpeggios on on the melody, um, more broken arpeggios. I. I will use bro broken thirds uh, of a theme that's called Koshishan that we've studied here in those lives. Uh, and so uh, I took the soul of Shoro and I, I, I was able to apply. So uh, I think that, uh, that were enough ideas in, in this improvise. And let me, I'm, g I'm gonna take try to create from uh, 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 improvise uh, to, to do the last improvise here and that's it thanks for watching and um, I hope you enjoy these lives and apply in your Brazilian songs if you want to know more about composers and other information it's just right for me and if you have difficulties in applying this to your instrument uh, and just write or also I'm gonna I'm I just play pia the piano but there, there are a lot of difficulties that, that you can have that are harmonical difficulties so we can work and uh, to, to, to make it easier all right so that's it uh, I'm gonna do my last improvise and and I, I'm already 
thanking you for watching for more of this live all right let me one two one two
so that was it thanks for watching more one one more time and every day we are having lives here um you are invited to know more about the brazilian accent improvisation thanks bye bye